All right, so the other week I brought you a short video showing you how to do a compression test on the uh, Honda 225 outboards. Uh, today I got one of our work boats, uh, not a personal boat, but a company I work for. And we've got 150 Yamahas on the back of it. Been having some trouble with the one on the port side. So I'm gonna show you how to do a, a quick compression test on that. So first thing I'm gonna do is pop all the uh, spark plug boots off of it and remove all the spark plugs. Uh, once I get done with that, I'll show you what's next. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is thread our compression tester in one of the cylinders on the engine. On uh, here, I've got the same just cheap Harbor Freight compression tester I had for my last test. As you can see, it's not zeroed out. Uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, just like on the last test, you know, if all the cylinders come in at 150, 180, 120, 210, I'm okay as long as they're within about 10% of each other. Uh, they all come in at 180 except for one comes in at 60. We know we got a serious problem. So uh, now that that's threaded in, the next thing I'm going to do is go over to my shifter. Just like on the other one I showed you, you push the button in on the side of the shifter, engages it in neutral, put the throttle all the way full throttle. That way it opens up your air intake. Go ahead and hit your key switch and let it turn over half a dozen times or so, maybe a little bit more, you know, eight, 10 seconds, seven to 10 seconds, something like that. And just make sure you get through all the compression strokes and, and get the pressure up on your compression tester. All right, so now I've hit compression on the first one. I'm showing about 210 on the top cylinder, which is a good baseline pressure. So now I will thread it into my next and we'll see what happens. I've got it in my number two cylinder. I press my pressure release, make sure everything is back down. And now I'll go ahead, turn it over, like I said. Put the compression tester over, see what I've got. I have got about uh, 215, 220 on this one. So right in, right in line with what the next is. So same thing, push my pressure release, get it back down to zero and I'll switch on over to my third cylinder now. So everything is zeroed out, jump back up. See what we've got on here. That is not good. So we are showing 50 pounds of pressure on that number three cylinder. So that is definitely a problem. So I'll go ahead and do compression on my fourth cylinder and see what we show on that also. So I've got my compression tester on my number four cylinder now. So come over here real quick. Something else you wanna make sure that you have good, fully charged up battery. That way everything's spinning up properly and you got plenty of uh, speed on your, your uh, starter and everything, plenty of power voltage. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and hit it on my number four cylinder and see what we got on there. All right, flip this up, see what we've got. Uh, we've got about 210, 212 on there. So as you can see, this is a good example of how a compression tester gives you overall health of an engine. We've got a serious problem on the number three cylinder here being in that 50 to 60 pound range and everything else on here is showing that 210. So you know the, the one, two and four cylinders are good and you can see that your serious issue is on the number three cylinder with extremely low compression. So next step is to get this thing back out of the water, have somebody take it to the shop and see where they can go from there. Got any questions, comments, leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.